in a way, I think one of the most motivating things for students, we hope, will be the fact that the language they're learning, at least in some ways, resembles their own experience of language use in L1. And I know from my own experience of learning French when I was at secondary school, a lot of the, 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 the lack of motivation that I experienced was simply because I couldn't see what it was for. I was learning lots of strange sentences, lots of peculiar, disembodied pieces of grammar that didn't really have any real world utility to me. And I think for a lot of students, what's demotivating about learning language is spending a lot of time learning things that they're not able to use in any kind of way. And I think also a lot of the time for them, some students have this experience of learning English, is, is you learn about English in the same way as you learn about mathematics or something. And it becomes a kind of abstract, geometrical, mathematical kind of thing that they, they know a lot about but don't really know how to use. And hopefully, because of the way the book's structured and because of the, the ideas that have gone into the way we've written it, students will see that there is a kind of real-world outcome and that there's some sort of utility to what they're learning. Um, in addition to that, I think, what else is motivating for students? Hopefully the range of texts, hopefully the things that they read about and the things that they listen to will motivate them. I think also, perhaps, what's a little bit unusual with what we've tried to do is the fact that there's a lot of focus on giving students the chance to express opinions about things. So they get to respond to the texts, they get to practice little bits of vocabulary. There are lots of little bits of opportunity, lots of little opportunities for students scattered throughout the course for them to basically do little bits of talking. And I think students are motivated by the experience of being able to try and use their language to talk to other students uh, about feelings, thoughts, opinions, facts, and hopefully that will be a sort of key motivating factor for them. The flip of that is that from the teacher's point of view, um, possibly that there'll be a motivating factor in that the book's quite simple to use, the design's quite simple, the way the units are structured is quite simple, there's a sort of regular pattern to each one, it's very clear and sort of flows and runs in a clear, concise kind of way, we hope, for teachers. But also I think the teachers will find it motivating that the students are enjoying it and the students actually get the opportunity to use some of what the teacher's been teaching. Because I think often for teachers it's quite demotivating in that you're giving students a lot of input and it just vanishes and you don't know what they're ever going to do with it. Hopefully because of the relationship between the input and the, the kind of communicative goals or the communicative outcomes, teachers will see that link between those two things and that will motivate them to keep teaching the series and to enjoy using the series.